Hi everybody, this is Melissa. I was just coming to you today. We're going to do a little craft. Uh, it's a craft called Dough Ornaments. There's a couple different places online you could find the recipe, but I was going to go ahead and give it to you here. It's really easy. Um, you start with... Okay, you start with a half a cup of water, half a cup of salt, and that's just regular table salt, one cup of flour, you also need a mixing bowl and a spoon. You need a rolling pin to roll it out with. Cookie cutters, because we're doing Christmas ornaments, so we put, picked Christmas ones, stars and Christmas trees and gingerbread men and stockings. You'll need uh, either a skewer or a toothpick, because we're going to make little holes to string a, uh, either a piece of fishing line or ribbon or whatever you've got. Cookie sheet, uh, ungreased. Just don't, don't put anything extra on there. Uh, and you'll need a uh, little extra flour for um, dusting the table or the counter for when you uh, are rolling the, rolling the cookies out. Hi, Crows. Um, you'll need an adult to help you because they won't. You'll need an adult to help you with this because it does go in the oven at 250 degrees for two whole hours. It's a low and slow cooking process to make these. <laughs> Um, so it's not very hot, but 250 degrees, still pretty hot. So get uh, an adult to help you out with that if you can. Crows is making his presence now. <laughs> he wants to be in the video or petted, one or the other. All right, thank you. All right, what I usually have to do is take the dry ingredients and get them combined together first. So we'll dump in the flour and the salt. Oops. And we'll give them a stir to kind of combine them a little bit. And this is not like cookies. They look like cookies when you're done, but uh, they don't taste like cookies. They taste like salty ickiness. So don't try to eat the batter. You'll regret it. And we add the water. Now, if your dough comes out a little too dry you can add a little water if it comes out a little too wet you can add a little more flour to just kind of balance it out and just kind of stir it nice and easy to try to combine it together Some people use a food processor for this, but spoon works, you know. <laughs> All right. Now we have Big ball of dough. Okay. And then what we do is we take a little flour and we dust it over the surface so the flour won't stick. Okay. Now, um, as long as the core person or whoever is in your house to give you permission says it's okay to to make it's a little bit messy, but it's easy to clean up. So it's okay to put this down here and, and make a little bit of a mess to get, get this started. Um, all right, so I flatten out the dough a little bit. I'm gonna smush it down with my hands a little. All right, and now we get the rolling pin. And it doesn't take much to press it to press it out. All right, and we roll it out till it's about a quarter of an inch thick, and that's about that thick, about that thick. So they they get pretty thin, but that's okay. It keeps them keeps them pretty light. I think 
that's probably good. So we set that. Woo! All right, so we make some stars. We wiggle it just a little bit to get everything to let go. And press and wiggle. Press and wiggle. And when you're making cookies, it's good when you're going going in, you press straight down and give them just a little wiggle and lift straight up again. And a little wiggle. And we'll do a couple of stockings. Well, I didn't do a very good job on that one. Let me try again. Gotta press it down all the way around. There we go. Yeah, I feel better about this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Not all cookie cutters are created equal. Some of them work better than others. Okay. Then we got those. And I'm going to peel out the parts I didn't use. Now what you may be able to do is take all your extra bits and roll it out again, but uh, be careful with that because sometimes it'll get a little um, a little uh, too dry and it'll start to fall apart on you. So I think I'm just going to stick with what I've got already. Okay, and we lift them up nice and easy. Take some of that extra dough off of there and we'll lay them out on the cookie sheet. Mine got a little sticky underneath, so I'm using this thing called a pastry knife, but you may be able to get it up with a spatula if you need to. It's not sharp, it's just kind of narrow. Now these cookies don't, um, they don't rise. You know, sometimes when you put, uh, when you make cookies, they get they get bigger and puffy, and these don't do that. These just come out basically the exact same size as they go in, so they don't need a whole lot of room around them to cook because they don't they don't get puffy and big. So I'm gonna just get these all. Oh, Oopsie. And if they mess up and don't come out precisely the shape you want them, that's okay. And if they don't come out looking like mine, that's okay too. They come out looking like yours and that's just perfectly fine. Alrighty. Almost done. One stocking left. Okay. Alright, and there's where you take the whole sheet and you put it in the oven at 250 degrees for two hours. 